Hi, Ty Lambert here with TomTom Tom Telematics. Thanks for clicking on our, our demo. So I created a condensed version of our online demonstration of WebFleet that's specific for the towing industry. And we have a very short agenda here, as you can see, and my contact information is also available for you to reach out if you have any follow-up questions or would like to get into more details. So let's jump right in. Now, in the towing industry, where you have an extremely high number of jobs each day, losing track of your fleet costs a business money. TomTom's GPS tracking, now we track more than just location, and we deliver this data in a way that it's easy to read and use because we deliver it in the programs that, that you're already using today. Now, the reward is that business owners now have true fleet visibility and the peace of mind of knowing that hey, my business is running at an optimal level and I'm being as profitable and as efficient as possible. Now, a little bit of background. Every GPS solution in the world, everything is built on mapping data, what we use in our phones, in our cars, uh, the GPS solutions that, that everyone sells. Everything's built on mapping data. And there are only two major mapping data companies in the world. TomTom Tom is the largest and the most utilized. So companies purchase map data from us to create their products. Now, when they purchase this map data, they purchase it in, in data packets. So they get a small sliver of the pie to get you know, the dots on the maps and generate some reports, but then they charge a premium price for it. Now at TomTom, since we own this mapping data and we create maps and we manufacture our own hardware, we have a, everything in-house. So we have access to all of that data. And as you can see there in red, companies like Apple and Uber, uh, Mercedes-Benz and, and others in the automotive industry and a lot of our GPS competitors purchase map data from us to create their products. Now, if you have an Apple phone and you click on the Maps app on there, click on the little information uh, I button in the top right corner, and then at the bottom of the screen, you're going to see data is provided by TomTom. Tom. So we use this information, or these resources of revenue to keep enhancing our products. Now, the hub of our product is called WebFleet. This is a program, you, it's just online. You can open up through a browser. And the two devices that we track with is the Link 220 and the Link 530. The, the 220 is our uh, basic tracking device. It can plug into an OBD2 um, port, and it's going to track the vehicle and monitor speeding. The Link 530, which 90% of the towers use, uh, tracks... It is, but it does a lot more. It, it, once it's hardwired installed, it, can, it has additional inputs. So we, we can plug it into PTO engagement. We can tie it into a beacon light. We can tie it into multiple things, like if an engine light goes off and you need to know about it. This type of information is all tied into our software, which we in turn deliver to you and, and share it with the software that you have. So you've got a cohesive uh, telematics program working with the way you work today. Now, the Link 530 is also Bluetooth enabled. So if you wanted to have a navigation device in the cab, like a five, five inch uh, navigation device or a seven inch ruggedized tablet, there's no installation since they just Bluetooth together. And we can get into some of the apps a little bit later. The Eco Plus is a device that plugs into the OBD2 and it, it also Bluetooth connects to the Link 530. And this device will monitor fuel consumption and be able to capture engine diagnostic codes. So this is the our fleet of products that will be uh, available to you. Now, with our tracking, we're tracking the vehicles every 10 seconds. And in that 10 seconds, we're monitoring speeding over the posted speed limit harsh steering, harsh braking, idling. Uh, we have the ability with the Eco Plus to get those engine diagnostic codes, monitor coasting versus constant speed, gear shifting, so we can capture this information. Now, the navigation devices that we have, the five inch and the seven inch tablet, also are equipped with active driver feedback. Now what this is, is not only are you getting alerted of the speeding and steering and idling, but it, when the driver commits those events, 
that unit is automatically alerting that driver immediately when they commit those events. So this is a tool that is coaching better driving behavior while they're on the road. I mentioned that there's additional inputs and outputs on the Link 530 where, as you can see, we're getting PTO engagement. We can do remote uh, door locks. Uh, we integrate with in-cab cameras. And if you have uh, uh, any uh, RFID readers that are Bluetooth, we can connect them for inventory control. Now, in the towing industry, TomTom Tom is unique in, in that we integrate with every major towing software in this industry. Now, we have three preferred software partners, and these partners, Beacon Software, Towbook, and Omadi, have taken that integration and really expanded upon it to pull more of the information in to each individual order that you're doing, which in turn is increasing, increasing that level of efficiency for you. So let's jump into WebFleet. WebFleet is designed to, as I've, you've heard me say, be efficient in, in how you're running your business. And I like to start with this dashboard because we set up a dashboard for the top row to be focusing on, on business performance. How's your fleet doing? You know, it's given a quick view of how is my fleet operating? The second row, we set it up to monitor driver performance and be able to set, you can set different scales based on your criteria as to what you want to see. And the third row is trends. And this OptiDrive indicator is a way that we can rank the uh, drivers based on the criteria that you set. So I'll come back to that in a bit. But let's, let's go ahead and jump into the map here. Here in the map, you can see that we have the TomTom map, Google map, and satellite. Uh, we also have Street View. I'm going to jump into a vehicle here. This particular vehicle, I can see that uh, his ignition is off, and I can see his location of where he is, that he's been there for 49 minutes. Now, these four buttons here are, are going to be used a lot. Show will actually zoom in to that particular vehicle and show, show me where he's at. Query, since we're tracking the truck every 10 seconds, our standard map refresh is every minute. So every 60 seconds, those six locations are getting uploaded and the map's refreshing. That's our standard. If you want to have a 10 second map refresh, we can accommodate. The query button is just, if you need to see it quicker, you can ping the vehicle and it will refresh a little quicker for you. Now track and trips are similar, but track will show where that vehicle has been for a particular period. So you can see the date here. I can change the date and look at where that vehicle has been and show that breadcrumb trail. You can see that when I roll over this, the, the breadcrumb trail, I can see where he was and it's showing me every 10 seconds of what speed and direction he was going. Now, trips is, is similar, but it's going into each individual job. So it's breaking down that track into more detail. I'm going to cruise down here and find a, a trip that was a little longer. With the trip, we can see the departure time, arrival time, distance, how much time was spent on the standstill, total duration, average speed, total fuel consumption, and then we can see a replay of where he's been with the same map being able that I can still roll over it and see, okay, here's, it's color coded so I can see he was doing 88 in a 65. That's getting on a little bit too quick, so we need to have a, a, a conversation about that. Now, in this same map here, on these tabs on the top, I can also see what any driving events. Here's some harsh braking. Here's one we can look at, harsh braking. He went from 37 miles an hour to 14 mile an hour in 2.7 seconds. Now, we rank uh, these driving events on a scale of one to five. So the severity can let you know, was he really getting on it or was he um, you know, just trying to be safe? Now, with, with this severity, um, the, 
on the ranking of one to five, you, you will set up uh, at what level um, on the reporting side if these things are, are important to you or not. Same thing with speeding. It's showing me where, where the speed limit, what the speed limit was when he committed the event and for how long did he commit it. So we're, we're tracking all this information. Now, in the same screen here, we can also see maintenance. Uh, I like to bring this up with towing because a lot of towing businesses maintain their own vehicles. With, since we're tracking the truck every 10 seconds, the odometer reading that we capture is going to be pretty close to what's in the cab. Let me jump into here. So once we set up the odometer reading, we can also set up that you want to have um, an oil change every two months or every 5,000 miles, wherever your business operates. Now the reminder is set up where a week before that gets to this time or 500 miles before I get to, to 5,000, I want that alert so I know that, hey, I need to call truck number five and tell Jimmy, bring the truck in because we need to do an oil change. And this feature, it gives you the ability to eliminate the need for the driver to self-assess his truck. So you're staying proactive on maintaining your fleet. I'll go ahead and cancel out of this one here. So that is uh, some of the mapping features, the tracking ability, and the um, uh, maintenance tasks that we use. When it comes to sending jobs, let me go back to the map section here. Sending jobs through WebFleet is accomplished because when an address comes in, now with your area, I'm just using a the larger map here to do this, but I can click on a map or actually use an address to, to, enter, in it, to enter it in. By creating this uh, in the map, you can see on, over here, I'm going to click Suggestions by TomTom. And what this will do is actually rank your fleet and take into account both distance as well as traffic and rank them as who's the closest. So now dispatch has the ability to quickly identify who's the closest vehicle. And these color codes are showing me which vehicles are available. Green is available and yellow is showing that they're currently on a job. Gray means they're off duty. So now you can quickly assign an ETA, an accurate ETA to your customer, not having this data available. So I apologize that I picked an area that was a long ways away, but I trust you get the point. Now, reports. We set up, there's 52 standard reports in our, in our system, but you can create a lot of reports based on all this data that we're collecting. The state mileage report for IFTA reporting is 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 a, a big concern right now. So we can we can set that up and have that delivered to you on your quarterly basis for your reporting. Excessive speeding and driving events are two uh, reports that we set up it's just so you can have them um, sent to you to be able to know uh, you know what drivers were doing what on what particular. You can have this delivered daily or weekly or monthly quarterly. What do you whatever you need for that. Now, a lot of these reports are also available in the dashboard, and I wanted to come back to OptiDrive to show, based on the criteria that you've set, you, it will rank your drivers. And so I can see that all my drivers are performing pretty well based on my criteria, but let's look at why did Dante have a 2.4? And simply by clicking into it, I can see that, and looking over on speeding here, that 9.5% of his drive time was spent speeding. And he averaged 14 mile an hour, uh, mile an hour fat, too fast. He had 0.8 driving events per hour. Now the big one here was idling. 48.9% of his drive time was spent idling. That's wasted fuel. So now I have something to, to talk to him about that, listen, if it's getting warmer, shut the truck off. You don't need to be uh, wasting that much fuel waiting for calls. All this criteria is 
set up by you. I'm going up here into settings, I'm going to look at reporting, and here's these OptiDrive variables where you can, you are in charge of how much weight they have. For those who do a lot of police calls, speeding's not as important because you guys got to get there to hit your, your, your time commitments. But driving events, even if they are getting on in a little bit, driving events need to be uh, limited. You still want them to be driving safe. Idling, you know, during the summer and winter, if you're in areas where it's it, you have extreme temperatures, maybe it's not as important because you know they need to stay warm or, or, or cool. But during the spring and fall, you can rank, you can ratchet that up to have reporting that's going to be more consistent. So this is a quick overview of what we can do with just our uh, with our basic tracking and navigation. Uh, geofencing is is the last thing I'll talk about here. We call them areas, but essentially you can geofence a particular area to know any time a vehicle has gone in or out of a location. And we can set these up to rectangle, circle, polygon, or even a corridor so you have a stretch of highway that you want to make sure that your vehicles are maintaining or a particular area that you, you want to make sure your trucks stay in and be alerted if they go out or uh, have one where you want to know if they ever go into an area that you're not supposed to. So we've got a wide variety of ways that we track and and how we integrate in with our software companies makes this available right into the software that you're already using today. And that's one of the key areas that we like to talk about with regards to our integration with our partners. The other integration with our partners has to do with our, um, let me jump in here into cameras. Uh, In-cab cameras are are starting to be a necessity for liability purposes. And we've partnered with Smart Witness to offer some solutions, whether it be a just one camera uh, or two camera, three camera, we can go up to a five camera solution. And I like to make focus or focus here a little bit on the on the term smart mail. So with with our solution here, you can have a camera that's that's recording all the time. And they'll have an SD card in them that's that's constantly recording. But if there is a driving event, these cameras tie into that Link 530. So if there are speeding, idling, harsh braking, harsh steering, anything like that, if there is an event, the Smart Mail program will actually email you a 10-second clip of what happened. And it's in low resolution, so it doesn't take very much space. If it was an incident that you needed to investigate, you can simply hit Reply. And, and it will send you a high definition video of what was going on. And that video is including whatever cameras you have hooked up on your system. So if you've got a five camera solution, it's going to show every angle. That type of a solution has proven to be one very efficient because very rarely do towers have time just to be sitting in, in, and watching cameras all day, but it's getting you the, the details that you need. And this information is all tied to the jobs that you're already working. So this is where we're going with our camera solution that will give you the ability to, to monitor. When it comes to, there we go, when it comes to tracking uh, and for TomTom, Tom, we have two ways to sign up. We've got a rental program and a purchase program. The rental program is including the hardware and the software and the service all in one bundle. So there's no upfront cost, there's no credit check, there's no financing. You sign up and, and go. The purchase program is where you actually purchase the hardware up front and then the, the monthly service is reduced. So I'm showing you this just so you can take a look at which kind of a, uh, which way you want to sign up would fit best with your business operation because we, we feel we've got a program that can benefit, benefit uh, uh, every tower in this industry. So that's all I have for you today. That's a quick overview. Uh, as I mentioned, if you've got any more questions uh, specifically about software or your business, please contact me. I'll be happy to go through this some more and we can dive into the details.
thanks again for your time and we look forward to speaking with you. Take care.